cannulating percutaneous fistulas created by the ellipsis vascular access system. The ellipsis vascular access system is a non-surgical, minimally invasive option for the creation of an AV fistula in end-stage renal disease patients requiring hemodialysis. Cannulating a percutaneous fistula made with the ellipsis vascular access system is similar to cannulating a traditional surgical fistula. You just need to be aware of a few differences. In about six to eight weeks, most ellipsis fistulas reach maturation. Meanwhile, the patient would have undergone an ultrasound of the fistula at around one week and likely a minimally invasive procedure at around four weeks to improve maturation and help direct blood flow to the preferred cannulation vessels. Ellipsis AV fistulas do not require an incision and therefore it is unlikely that a scar will be visible. While assessing the fistula, you can feel the thrill and hear the bruit just below the antecubital region, where it is the strongest, and at the distal upper arm along the basilic and cephalic outflow. Both may be less evident than that of some surgical fistulas. This does not mean that the fistula is not functioning. While cannulating ellipsis fistulas, use a tourniquet to help engorge the fistula and improve cannulation success. With the ellipsis fistula, there is the potential for single or two vessel cannulation options. The patient's access physician should advise on the best location to successfully cannulate the fistula. For cannulation, note that you should use a shallow angle of entry as percutaneous fistulas are not deeper than the normal surgical fistula, though individual anatomy can vary. Some new AV fistulas may benefit from shorter cannulation needles. Ask your patient's nephrologist if this would be beneficial. Just like for surgical fistulas, follow your institution's best practice policy for cannulating new AV fistula. Cannulating a percutaneous fistula made with the ellipsis vascular access system is similar to cannulating a traditional surgical fistula.